Cotaliocystin, also known as the Sin with a Lot. This is mixed movements therapy, chair exercises, volume one, level one. For these, you will need a stable chair. Folding chair works great, it has a lower center of gravity typically than other chairs. Um, but whatever chair you use, making sure you feel stable. Ideally, we want um, a nice right angle for whatever chair you sit in from your thigh bones to your shin bones. Um, and then we want a neutral pelvic position. But before that, make sure you have a stable base. I like to use a yoga mat every time I use a chair. That'll prevent it from slipping and sliding all over the place. Uh, safety first, there's lots of great tools, but if you hurt yourself using them, um, they're not really tools. So that said, before I go anywhere, I'm gonna check into my feet and then my pelvic position. I'm going to draw my elbows and my shoulders down my back and engage my locks. Um, they're the three yoga locks and they're also known as a master lock, which we call hollow body in gymnastics. So we have the root lock known as Mula Bandha, um, the solar plexus lock known as Idyad Bandha, and then the neck lock, Alejandra Bandha. Um, so I just want to try to find a little bit of connection between your front and your back sides. Um, with Mula Bandha, I like to tilt my pelvis a little bit, and even side to side. I have a twist you might have noticed from my videos I've been working through. This is how I've been healing it, is these kinds of exercises. You have to be persistent. No one else can do the work for you. So here I am, I'm engaging my locks, I'm trying to really hug to midline here. Um, it's really great to kind of do these too. We take our thumbs and we just kind of press them into the sternum. Let's inhale and exhale. We'll draw those shoulders back and down, inhale and exhale. Let's take those arms up overhead. Really press those shoulders down and then the um, inside of the elbow towards the ears. You want them kind of in the level with your ears, like you're diving. Ideally, we want to be pulling these shoulders back so that they're more weightless. Let's inhale and exhale over just a side. And inhale and exhale just over a side. And inhale and exhale, come into a little bit of a lean forward. You want to have a flat back doing this. And inhale up and exhale side. And inhale up and exhale side. And inhale up and exhale forward. And inhale up and let's go the other way. Exhale side. And inhale up and exhale side. And inhale up and exhale forward. Really keep those arms back as you can. Inhale up, exhale side. Second pattern again. Inhale up, exhale side. And inhale up, exhale, crunch a little bit. And give me a few pulses here if you can. One, two, three, four, five. And inhale up and exhale those hands down. Let's inhale, exhale, press the thumbs in and the shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, press the thumbs in and shoulders down. And then inhale and exhale, twist a little bit one side. Inhale, center, exhale, twist a little bit the other side. Inhale, center, exhale, twist first side. I'm not going very far, I'm looking forward if you notice. I'm not trying to twist all kinds of funky ways. I want to use my deep muscles of my core, not like this wrenchy action most of us uh, twist with. Now inhale, exhale that other side. I'm going to do a few more of these. And inhale, center, let's go back to that side. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, crunch, inhale, up, exhale, crunch, try to keep that whole low, middle, and high core engaged, hugging the midline, exhale, crunch, and inhale, up, exhale, release. The next set, we're going to add a little bit more. Uh, we're going to add a block to further hug to midline. I'm going to come to the edge of my chair so that the block can hug down a little bit. I'm going to lift my flesh from my sit bones up, and I'm really going to engage this, kind of like I'm riding on horse. Let me do a few bounces like this. 
So we're lifting up through the low pelvic region. I'm also going to grab a band if you have one. And if not, you can just do these like we did the first set. Um, but I would invest, a lot of the inexpensive stores like TG Maxx and Marshalls carry these things for very low prices as well as a lot of fancy stuff out there. Let's take this band in front of us. If you have a tear in your band like this one, don't use it. I'm not going to switch it out right now. So here I am, I have my arms kind of pulled into the socket. I'm going to inhale and exhale, draw the hands apart. Inhale, 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 exhale, the arms up. Inhale, exhale, draw the hands apart. 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 Inhale, exhale, just to inch one side. Really drop that hip that you're leaning away from. Inhale, up. Exhale, drop the other side. Inhale, up. Keep trying to pull those arms more. I just caught myself falling in this forward motor pattern, which I'm trying to get out of. Everything feels a lot heavier when we're not in proper alignment with our levers. Inhale, exhale, side. Inhale, up. Exhale, side. Inhale, up. Exhale, side. Inhale, up. Look at someone behind you. Inhale, up. Exhale, look at someone behind you. Inhale, exhale, look at someone behind you. Inhale, exhale, really look at them slow, like I see you. And inhale, center, exhale, I see you. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale up. Exhale, crunch. Inhale up. Exhale, crunch. Inhale up. Exhale, crunch. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Try to keep your head in alignment with um, your sternum, which is this bone right here. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, crunch. Remember, don't we're not, we're not collapsing. We'll do that at the end, it'll feel better. Inhale up, exhale, crunch. Engage everything. Really just pull out and then into midline. We're trying to heal the spine. We're trying to get more uh, deep core strength. So we're not using the gross movers. We're using all these little micro elements. Exhale forward, inhale up. Exhale forward, inhale up, exhale up. Beautifully, give it a shake. So we're just gonna do one more in this series. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a back release here. Um, again, this is for all levels and especially people that have back issues they're working through. I'm going to draw my shoulders down. My right shoulder is a real problem shoulder. It likes to go like this. I'm gonna try to draw my shoulder blades together and my elbows into my ribs before I go anywhere. So now I'm going to do a few cat and cows here. I'm still squeezing with my low core. I'm going to inhale into a little cow. And you might notice my spinal problems and exhale into a cat. And inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And inhale, cow, looking up. And exhale, cat, round. And inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. And inhale, roll it up. Take a moment and notice your spine. Now we're going to try to inhale and exhale over really, 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 really slow. Really, 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 really slow. And if you can, letting your torso come near your thighs. We're in a compression posture right now. You may have to adjust your block. I would like, if you are using a block and have a block, to use the block, because it's very beneficial. So here we are in this compression. Take a few breaths. 
You can always, if you're, it doesn't feel great, put your hands on your thighs and give yourself a little support. Just make sure these shoulders and elbows are coming in. And then we'll do a few more cat and cows in this compression. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cow. And inhale, cow. And exhale, cow. And inhale, cow. And exhale, cow. And inhale, cow. And exhale, cow. And neutral. So whatever position you're in, um, you just kind of have your arms and your shoulders back. We're going to inhale and then exhale. Pretend there's someone you see to the side. You're kind of trying to go out without looking. And inhale, center. Exhale at the other side. And inhale, center. Exhale, look the side. Inhale, center. And exhale, side. And inhale, center, and then exhale, just roll it down. Take a few breaths here if you can. Wherever you need to support yourself is fine. Or if you just want to like lean into it, it just depends how open your back is. And now I'm just going to rock side to side just a little bit. Trying to open those hips a little more. This was uh, Chair Mixed Movement Therapy Exercises Volume 1, Level 1. Have a great day.